Hi, I'm here for the... Thanks. How does that shape <laughs> my patootie? There's <laughs> some bullcorn. I gotta get a new tripod. Okay, so this is gonna be a bit of a story time today um, about some Pokemon cards that I bought. Now, if somehow the family that sold me these cards sees this video, I wanna reiterate, I'm not mad at you, I'm not mad at anyone, I'm not mad, and I'm not worried about the money that I spent on them, because I didn't really find out much about them until I, I got home and was able to verify some stuff. So if somehow you guys see the video, you guys are great, uh, nothing but good experience with you guys. Uh, this is just more of a, I guess, not a demonstration, an excuse for me to be an idiot on the internet, that one. Last night I was browsing my phone and I came across a lot of 30 uh, of these Pokemon GX cards for $35. And I thought, hey, that's, that's not a bad price. I saw they even had a Salazzle Rainbow Rare GX card. Now those of you with knowledge on the trading cards and fakes, can probably already see the problem with this card. Maybe not, because uh, it's not really good lighting here right now. But but as you can see, this does not look quite right. It's a pr it's a beautiful card. It's a pretty card to look at for sure. But uh, it's not quite right. It's smooth first of all, which is a big tell. And some of the font towards the bottom, it's going to be hard to see. Some of the font towards the bottom is not quite crisp. And uh, you can see at the top, maybe if I get my focus to work, you can kind of see. The top of the card is kind of cut off while the bottom is still super thick. There are a lot of really nice cards here that most, if not all, are unfortunately fake. Now I think there are a few cards in here that are actually legitimate, but it's really hard to tell. Um, one of the surefire ways, like I said, especially with a card like the Slazzle GX here, is that it's a rainbow rare, but it's not textured. I don't know if you can hear that. Let me, let me go turn my air conditioner off. Sorry, it's just stupid hot. <laughs> Well, I've got the Naruto headband on without the metal bit. But like, listen. That's smooth. Fake card, don't worry. Let me show you though. I'm gonna show you. I don't have any uh, similar cards in here that I can compare with, so unfortunately, I'm gonna have to call upon my good friend Latios EX here. So this is kind of, this is kind of textured. It's gonna be really hard to see, but this is a real legitimate card. Let me see if you can hear. <laughs> All the, all the, all the Pokemon card collectors now just, like, fake. I'm gonna compare another real full art card. This is a Mewtwo EX, and we'll take this Drampa GX as uh, a, another example. Now, first of all, you can just kind of see they're the same type of card. Oh, this is a Mewtwo GX. Sorry, not EX. But they're the same type of card. They've got the uh, the single color background, but you can already just tell the difference in how the hollow looks. This one's a little more flat, more lifeless. And this one has got a lot of texture going on. Welcome to a video where I just scratch cards all day. Gotta be able to hear the difference on that one. Um, you can always usually tell the fakes by, um, by that. Poor cropping, again, let me, again, poor cropping of the card at the top, way too thick at the bottom. 
But also, if if the fonts or, or the symbols, if they're really blurred and out of focus, another easy way to tell. So where do these fake cards come from? I, I ended up, um, when I realized that the cards were fake, I messaged the woman, again, very lovely woman, not no frustration or disrespect or anything towards her. Um, but when I messaged her and I was like, hey, uh, where did your kid get these cards? And she's like, why, what's wrong with them? I'm like, I'm pretty sure most, if not all of these are fake. She's like, but they're Pokemon cards. And again, you don't know if you don't know. Um, but I was like, oh, yeah, that's why I'm asking. Like, did he just buy them loose? Did he get them from these types of Pokemon booster packs? These ones I already opened. Um, I, re I just, I really like the art, so I wanna, I try to keep one pack of each type if I can help it. But um, if you get your Pokemon cards out of a regular booster pack like this, almost always they're gonna be legit because, <laughs> because fakers are now even starting to spoof these, and they're really. Not easy to know. Like, if you don't know what to look for, they're hard to hard to differentiate. Some of these scammers are even going as far as to spoof Pokemon booster boxes. Now, this is not a spoofed booster... I, I, I spoofed a boofer back. This is not a spoofed booster box. This is one from Pokemon Company. This is Darkness Ablaze, the latest release. And I'm going to be live streaming the opening of this tomorrow on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash nerdyhuskyttv. Shameless plug. It'll be tomorrow around 3 o'clock. I'll post about it on Twitter. Hey, two plugs in one segment. All right. But yeah, no, the point of this video is no matter what it is you're collecting, be it Pokemon cards, be it video games, be it uh, ceramic little cow figures, whatever it is, just um, be on the lookout for fakes, be on the lookout for scams, and most importantly, try to keep a good relationship with the people who are selling to you. They probably don't know what they have. They, they won't know if it's legitimate or not. And that's exactly what happened here. I bought the cards, I said, hey, I think these are fake. And they're like, how, they're Pokemon cards. You know what I mean? Just be safe when buying and selling. And um, avoid fake Pokemon cards. I'm gonna hold on to these because the art is still really cool, but they are not going into my binder here. Um, which is a shame because look at how cool this card is. But anyway, I uh, hope to see you guys on my channel tomorrow for the uh, Darkness Ablaze booster box opening. Uh, I'm not even gonna take the plastic off this. We're gonna do it 100% from start to finish. And maybe I'll even show off a little bit of my collection. Uh, show you guys where I'm at. Actually, I'm gonna show you something cool right now. I still have a Charizard, which I think is neat. Uh, I, you can tell. I've grown a lot since I've owned this card because when I bought the card, I was very clearly a fan of My Little Pony. <laughs> oh, the card's worthless now. Have a good night, everybody. Stay awesome. Don't do anything that I wouldn't do. And I will catch you in the next video. High five. Whoops. Listen, I'll take any excuse to be an idiot on camera on my YouTube channel. I don't even care. I don't even care. Bro, you're cringe. Yeah, I know.